Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Debbie. I have some trifold tiny albums to share with you. Um, I had created these to fit the Instac pictures. Oh, there's a glare. That's my daughter and her boyfriend. Um, so let's just get right in because I have quite a few to show you. I made all of these holiday ones um, around Thanksgiving. These are like, this one is my first one or my second one. These two are my first, I guess, tryouts, you want to say? Um, my first two creations, my first two attempts. There we go. Okay, so we'll just, just jump right in and I'll show you. First of all, it's one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And if anybody's interested in a tutorial, I would be glad to do it. They are so simple to make and they're so much fun. And you know what? These would really make great gifts. And that's what I was thinking of because this would be cute for like a grandma or a new mom and she can stick her new baby pictures in here and throw this right in her in her um, pocketbook and it just they're just really cute so let's get started this one is um, kind of Valentine's theme um, with hearts and stuff I love hearts so you see a lot of stuff with hearts on it so you untie the ribbon and it folds open and it folds open again so it goes right across let me see. I'm gonna zoom out zoom the wrong way let's see is that better okay so you can see I'm gonna pause you and see if I can get a better picture okay this looks a little bit better although you can see my table but that's okay. So this one has a little magnet on the side and it just slips open. And the, this is a pocket at the bottom that I made, a little tuck pocket. And here's another pocket with some mats in it. And you can see what I do with the pictures. Here, Here's one, how cute it would look, matted. And even a school picture right here I'm grabbing one a school picture would even look cute so even if it was for someone who was a grandma and she had a couple of grandchildren she wanted to put all of their pictures um, in there and then she can stick that in her um, in her pocketbook and then when she sees her friends she can show them all of the school pictures so this is a journaling card this is a, a tag and I put this on the back I stamped that so you can write I'm going to go quickly because they're all there's quite a few of them. So they're all pretty much the same. I just made the flaps in different areas and magnets in different areas. Here's a little card that's actually holding that flap down. And here's some more um, mats. This tucks in heat. Well, this folds down and then this will hold that shut. Here's another one. On this side with the magnet and some more cards and the little tuck spot with the flap here so when you fold it up actually you'll have another space right here for even a bigger picture because then this will cover it and you can even put a bigger picture on the cover if you wanted to in the back I just did this with the ribbon because I forgot to add the ribbon of course so but these were my first ones so I think they came out pretty good considering um, this was another one that I did. Okay. And this one has the ribbon around it again. And this, these punch outs are actually that washi paper that you can punch out and make your own. I thought it just, the color just went well with that. And this one flips out and then flips out again. And see, I made this one, if you can tell, this one... It's just a little different. I didn't put a pocket down the bottom. This one actually flips open and flips open. So it's not all pockets. So you have room for a big picture. And the little paper clip holds it. And here's more pockets. 
with um, some cards that I made. Little tags and cards. And when you put it in together, I kind of made it like this says, My love, true love. And when you take this little one out, because this one's holding that shut, it says, It's love. So it kind of just like went flow together. So those are the first couple that I've made. Those are the first two. Oops, the bottom opened on that. I have to fix that. So those are the first two that I came up with. And so we'll jump right in to some of the Christmas ones. This one seems to be a big kit with a lot of my friends that I've been showing them. Um, this is dashing through the snow. It's more of a black and white Christmas type of a theme. And I'll tie the ribbon and I put some nice bling along the side here. Isn't that beautiful paper? I just love that paper. I think it's beautiful. And you open it on one side and another side. And now you can see what, how much you can change these around and do different things with them. Um, this one has a big flap at the top. So you have room for a picture there and here. And then here's your pocket with some mats. And then, oh, what fun and Wonderland. And I put some snow here. Here's another one. And this opens all the way. So you have this whole space here. You wouldn't believe how many you can, how many pictures you can get into these little albums. And I just think they're adorable. And I think they make such great gifts. So we fold that one up. And that was that paper. This is Authentiques Wonderland. There we go. That's what this paper is. Okay, so we have that one. And then we have this little guy. The red ribbon. And I put this in the back. This one I made the size just a little different. So here's the angel. And see now these... The bottoms are um, going up. So here's my angel. And she opens. And there's a magnet in there. And now here's a big spot for a picture. And then you can do some journaling here. And then here's another spot for a picture. You can get anywhere, if I'm not mistaken, um, two, four, six, eight, about ten pictures into these little trifold tiny albums. This one is just decorated. And then you open it up and here's a picture. And this is a pocket with some tags that I made. And then this one here on this side that says the wish list, which is a cute little Christmas one because if you take this little Christmas tree paper clip off and then open this up you can write some things down here that you need to pick up from the store or maybe one of your grandchildren's Christmas list and then here's a pocket I put a little tag in there but you can stick uh, store circulars in there or a coupon in there or something like that so that's that one. Let me just put this on so I don't lose the little Christmas tree. And I'm going to have to tie these all back up. But I will do that. Here's, here's another one I made. I'll try to go a little quicker. This one has a, a band that slides off. So you slide that off. And this is black and, and gold. This is embossing on here. And see this one again is a different I just cut the cut the um, the flaps just a little bit different and it gives you more room in different areas and when you fold it. Now this one I absolutely really loved. I used the paper as the background. So this was one sheet of paper and I cut it. This was the border of the paper. So I cut it to fit these three panels. And then I did the same for in the middle. And here's a envelope. 
with a couple of little tags in it and it says believe up here and it has those baubles down there I love those baubles let me just stick this right back in here real quick and then this side is the same it matches it was another sheet of paper that had the border so I didn't want to stick too much on here because it's already decorated with this beautiful paper so you could put a picture there you could write what's what's going on with the picture or a, a name anything uh, a title whatever you would like to here's an, another room for a picture so so if you really see let's see we got we got one two right probably three four because I'm not sure if you would get a picture there four and then you have five six and seven yeah eight nine nine pictures and so they just I've made them so they fold up differently it gives them just a little bit different style um, different enclosures um, this one like I said I have the belly band on I think this goes this way yes it does and that's the belly band we're getting down to the last two so this one <clears throat> I used some of the cord because I thought it went well with the paper and with the cardstock that I used which is just the um, natural and here's a win another winter winter one and this one has the top flaps with magnets and it opens on that side and here's a snowman and here's a pocket this one has the pocket with some cards from the paper collection and then this one opens again and this says fun and believe and I did some stamping up at the top here put the snowman down here I really thought this one came out really sweet and um, for someone who doesn't celebrate Christmas, this is perfect because it's just more winter theme. And I like the colors that they're not so traditional. And uh, you can write in here, um, by mistake, I closed the top. I didn't mean to, to put glue at the top, but I did. But you can still write here the title of your little album. Or you can um, still put a picture here. You could just put it right right over the top just cut it down and stick it right over the top so that would still work too looks like I have to fix the back there I guess with the cord the jute cord it's making it pop up but these little things happen and then you just fix them and you go on and then the last one this one's more Christmas themed this one again has a band you just slide up I glued the bow so we wouldn't have to worry about it un unfolding yes unfolding untied coming untied that's the right word so this one you just slide up and it has a tag on the back here's a picture here it could be for a picture here and a picture here and we have some presents and some lights there and this flips up you could write here or put a picture picture here you could write here or put a little picture I just put it there and then I made a little uh, paper clip and then inside this pocket this is uh, a little elf he is supposed to be upside down by the way you could tell by the way the the tag is cut out and then I put some tags in here a little tag and then I found this really cute little deer and I put some glitter on his antlers to keep them from falling just to give them a little bit of sturdiness so there's that and then you have that little angel on this side and she flips up you could put journaling or picture up at the top there and this flips down and here's a little Christmas tree if you want to if you want to add something to it so that's it guys thanks for stopping by these are my trifold tiny albums and like I said, if you would like to see a tutorial, they are very easy to do. All you need is one 12 by 12 sheet of paper and any embellishments that you like to use. 
Usually it would just take maybe two 12 by 12 sheets of paper if you're going to be doing some decorating um, or if you just have some stickers then you can just put your stickers on and um, I hope that you like them I think that they're adorable I think they make wonderful little gifts and like I said I can put a tutorial up and explain to you how to make them you I had I had these five done um, these Christmas ones, yeah, one, two, three, four. I had these five, five done. Uh, Thanksgiving night, I worked a little bit while everybody was vegging on the couch, and then on Friday uh, morning, a little bit while everybody was still in their turkey coma, <laughs> I was up here making these. Thanks a lot for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, guys, please do share. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video, comments, suggestions. Be sure to sh stop by my Etsy shop for some retail items, Debbie's Special Touch. And I'm looking forward to crafting with you again. Take care now. Have a wonderful day. Bye.